Welcome to another exciting episode of Doug's Electronic Repair Bench. Afternoon, YouTube. Here with you this afternoon to bring you another installment of the uh, saga of the mini tester, uh, multi tester, mini multi tester. That would be it. Anyway, um, I'm not going to waste a lot of time. You see, the sun is kind of out. The rain has finally stopped, I think, for a while anyway. So let us get back into the uh, workshop and see what we can get into. I'm back again, uh, YouTube, uh, with uh, Ron's little meter. I've been soaking this uh, end piece in here for a while. Uh, most of the corrosion is gone. Some rust on it now, looks like. But it is uh, at least. Uh, cleaner than it was. Probably usable if I took some OR brush to it and uh, got all the rest of the corrosion and, and rust off of it. I'm going to take a close-up over here in just a second. I wanted to pry the part just a hair there. It's easy to see how it fits in there now. So Anyway, let me, let me set up my close-up camera here we'll take a look at it real quick. Yeah, we can see. I think we can see. There's one side of it. Like I said, I think a wire brush with the on the rotary tool might clean it up a little bit. Like I say, there's the back side of it. Or maybe that's the front side. I'm not really sure how that works. Uh, that right there. Move around. That right there is the little tab that uh, it would solder to right here. I believe. Turn around, you can see a little bit better. Anyway. You can see there's a little bit of a space there. That's that's the tab there, pretty sure. So I think I will clean it up with the uh, one of these little here wire wheels and see what it cleans up. How it cleans up. In the meantime, I'm going to take a cotton swab and dab the uh, rest of the uh, corrosion off the inside. Dipped in vinegar, of course. Really wasn't too bad inside of here. I'll make sure I get all that corrosion out of there. But here, I guess got most of it. Let that dry out real good. Looks like there might have been some in the bottom of this. Also, that may just be loose stuff floating around. I don't know. Right, we'll go ahead and wash it out a little bit with the vinegar, just in case. Make sure you get most of that out. Alright, put that aside. And next thing I need to do is get my rotary tool out. Fairly steady. What? 
Get it in there. The way that connects is weird. Look at this one here. I think it goes down in there. Meantime, I've got my uh, soldering iron heating up. But where this goes is like this. Down in here. Pretty much how it fits in there, like that. Might work that way. That is definitely broke there, though. So I don't see that holding out very much longer. Figure out a way to get that. Uh, Back like it should, should be. I think maybe epoxy might be my only hope on that one. All right, let me take a close up of this and show you what I'm talking about. All right, you can see here. I think you can see here. There's a piece here that fell out, and that piece is laying right there. Right there. That's the part that just broke out of there. And if you can see, look at it closely. If I can get the camera to focus, I may be a little too close. There it is, I think. Well, you can barely see it. There's a crack right there. Right there. That's going to break out just like that other piece did. So my plan is... There we go. You can see the crack a little better now, I think. My plan is to uh, epoxy, put some epoxy in this area here. And then coat this with epoxy. And then let that set. And then once it does, I'll probably put a whole layer of epoxy over the top of it to keep it in there. That's the plan anyway. We're going to try it and see what happens. So I'll bring you back when I get this all done.
In the meantime, I'll check this fuse. It's good. So that's one more last thing I have to worry about. And get away with leaving it just like that. Up of it. There's the uh, epoxy setting. I think you can see it's setting up pretty good. So I just want to leave it down like this. I think that's the best position for it. it doesn't seem to be running so bad that way, so we'll go from there. One of the next things I got to do at some point is to uh, put a new mount on this because um, I'm going to show you this on this camera up here. So this is screwed in right now, but if I just take and move it like that, it comes right out. So this uh, is going to have to have some epoxy in it, I believe, or something. I can use a, a regular screw in there, it works better, it'll, it'll stay in, but it's going in a lot farther, so it is. It's these threads here are just uh, let go, or wore out, or whatever you want to call it. But I uh, hate to lose that use of that camera though, because that's been a good close-up camera. So. But anyway, after this sets up, I will be able to put that piece back in and solder in the the uh, we'll go ahead and leave that and see what happens I may have to file it down a little bit or something like that once it gets set uh, that's the plan anyway I was going to try to get that to I don't know if I can do that without messing that up or not. Let me just try it and see. If I can get that solder out. Get that hole cleaned out so I can get ready to put the wire back in. There's the old piece of wire coming out. There we go. Not perfect, but it's passable. Let's get this back like it was. Hold it better that way. That's the way we're going to do it anyway. Alright, that's enough for now. That's all I have anyway. Um, Again, that'll have to set up for however many hours it takes. And uh, let's get this turned off. Thing tip off. And go into the living room and wait for this to dry. So we'll be back here after uh, maybe this evening sometime. I don't know. I'm not sure exactly how long it takes for this uh, epoxy to dry. Or set, I should say. Seems to be like it, if it if it holds at all, it may be enough. I don't know. Just have to wait and see. We'll be back.